So um, <clears throat> here's a tree that I want to find out what the name is. The beautiful little white flowers. There's carpenter bees all over it. Up there I could hear them. And I was like, where are they? Where are they? There they are. Let's see if they're up there. Here's one. Look at them. They're going crazy for this tree. I don't know what this tree is. If you know what this tree is, definitely want this tree. It has some white flowers on it. Here's a... Uh, Reach up here and show you. Right here are the flowers. Right, beautiful little white flowers hanging down. The carpenter carpenter bees are all over it up there. It's funny when you've got solitary bees outnumbering the uh, social bees. It's you know you got a problem. Look at that guy. If they were lower down, I would grab them. Um, it looks like most of the, um, you know, the, the, the bees that are surviving are the ones that are feeding on the top of trees, right? The ones that are feeding, look, look at all these flowers down here. They're not touching these flowers. They're, you know, these bees have adapted not to touch these flowers. These flowers are death. Right? Look at all of them. All the way down here. There's no there's no social bees, no solitary bees flying down here. Um, nothing. They're there's no bubble bees. They're adapting to to feed on the top of trees. So bees that have adapted to do so will survive. Those that feed down here where there's insecticides are dying. So we're seeing basically um, evolution taking place in Japan on you know feeding, feeding habits of bees. And uh, solitary bees now are outnumbering the social bees which are really funny because social bees you know should have a 